Hello and welcome to my channel, Planners by Christine. Today I'm really excited to show you my brand new digital writer's notebook kit. Now I'm a writer as well, and so I have a pretty good idea of the things that writers might want in a notebook, but I suspect a lot of you might be new to digital planning or digital notebooks and unfamiliar with what they're all about. So I just briefly wanna talk about that. One thing I wanna make clear is that this is not an app. It's not something that you can import data into or that can calculate sales data for you or that can sync with your calendar or your reminders. It's a hyperlinked PDF file that has tabs. It looks like an actual notebook. It can be used to write down all kinds of information and you can bring in images and do all kinds of fun things with it, include stickers. And But I do wanna make clear that it's not an app. However, you do use it with an app. There are a number of apps that you can use, ones that you can mark up PDF files with. I use GoodNotes 5, but there's NoteShelf, there's Notability, there's several different ones. But when you do use it with these apps, it syncs in the cloud so that whatever you put in your notebook also appears in your GoodNotes on your iPhone, or your good notes on your Mac computer. So there is an app that it is used with, but the notebook itself is simply a PDF file. It's kind of like when you go to the store and you buy a notebook and you buy one for every story and you write everything out. It's similar to that in that you can write in it, except you only purchase it once. It's fully hyperlinked and it's organized for you already. And you can put images in there. You can draw drawings, you can type things and you can use it over and over. So you only purchase it one time instead of buying one for every story. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what it's all about. I'm assuming that a lot of you as writers probably haven't used digital planners or digital notebooks before. So I wanna go over quickly the process of getting it and bringing it into your iPad before we actually look at the notebook. So this is Etsy. I have an Etsy shop called Planners by Christine and this is my shop. And this is the digital writer's notebook. So you would come in here, purchase it, and then you would download it onto your iPad. Now the other piece you need besides the actual notebook that you purchase is the GoodNotes 5 app or some other app that you can mark up PDF files with. This is what the app looks like, the GoodNotes 5 app in the App Store. And currently it's $7.99 and it's a one-time purchase and it has such really great functionality. It seems like a very worthwhile purchase, a very reasonable cost. So if I go into my GoodNotes app, of course you're not gonna have any of these things if you're brand new to it. But what I'll do is I'm gonna press new and I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call this folder writer's notebook and press done. So now I have this folder. And so now once I've purchased the writer's notebook kit, there are several files that come with it. And so wherever you've downloaded it to, you need to know where it is. It's typically it goes into your download folder on your iPad. So I'm gonna press new import and navigate to where I have my files downloaded. So the first thing I'm going to do is tap on writer's notebook and that will bring it into good notes and it'll open it right up and this is what it looks like when you very first get it I haven't done anything with it yet and there's other things though that come with your purchase so I'm gonna go back here and press new and import and I've created some pre-cropped for good notes stickers that are meant for this notebook so I'm bringing that in and these are the stickers that come with it and we're gonna go over these in a minute I also am including some additional covers. Now I created all these, they're all hand-drawn, and so these are covers that you can replace the default cover with. But let's go back into the notebook. So in GoodNotes, there's this little icon up here and it toggles you on and off to where you can mark up your notebook or where you can use the hyperlinks. So right now it's toggled where the hyperlinks won't work, but instead I can write in it. I'm gonna to toggle it back so I can use the hyperlinks and I'm gonna to go to the dashboard. Now this dashboard, all of these buttons are hyperlinked and they're the same things that are on the top and the side and these tabs. And just as a note, this little home button just takes you back to the cover. So back on the dashboard, you see what we have here. Now, first I wanna show you what we have in the characters tab. So if I tap on characters, there's two pages of them for a total of 60 character fields. For most people, 60 should be plenty, even for epic fantasy or large series, hopefully. So what you can do is you can make this a little bit larger, toggle back to the markup section and choose your pen. And there's different types of pens, there's different thicknesses you can choose and there's different colors and then you can write in the name of your character now if you don't really like your handwriting and I don't particularly love my handwriting another option is to tap on this little text icon and I'm going to tap that right here and then I'm just going to write main character 
and it will convert your writing into text. Then if you tap on this lasso icon, you can resize it and make it larger. Now, since this is also main character, I can use the lasso tool and I can actually just copy this and paste it so that I just have that on there twice. So you can do as obviously as many characters as you want. And each one of these fields is tied to its own unique character field. So I'm gonna to toggle back to the hyperlink, tap on this, and this will bring up the one for my main character. And let me go back to characters. And what I'm actually going to do is circle this character's name, copy it, go to his page, and then paste his name in. I don't have to write it again. And then in here you can write physical characteristics. You can put in whatever information you want about your character. And I left this area up here blank so that you could bring in images. And let me show you how you can do that. In deposit photos, I have an image that I like for my character. These are characters for a post-apocalyptic story I'm writing. So if you swipe down from the bottom corner with your stylus, it'll take a screenshot and then you can cut it down, press done, save to photos. And then when I come back in here, I tap on this photo icon and the photo's right here. And then I can make it a little bit smaller. I, and actually I can crop it more. If I tap on this, I can crop it because I don't actually need all this part. And then I can have that photo in there for inspiration. Now, if you find that this is not enough space for you to put information about your character, you can go up to these four dots and it shows the screen that I was on that's highlighted. Dro do the drop down arrow, choose add page after and then more from templates and these all of these templates are included with good notes i'm going to choose ruled narrow apply close so now i have this additional page for this character if i were to go one more it's the next character's page so you can add as many pages as you need to which is really handy so let's toggle off of there and if we go to beats there's a Story Beats page and in your, included with your purchase and these stickers, I have these Story Beats. These are basic beats and these are romance beats. And on the left-hand side are the larger beats that describe exactly what the beat is. So you could copy and paste that in, but if you don't need the reminder, on the right-hand side are just abbreviated lists of the beats. And so I'm gonna come over here, use the lasso tool. I'm just gonna copy a few of these. Copy, hold this down and paste, make them a little bit larger. And then I can just move them one by one. You can move them around however you want. It just, and then you can write down what the story beats are. We have the timeline page. And on the timeline, you may want to draw a timeline. You may just want to have text written there. And one thing to point out is if you're using the pen tool, if you draw a line and then you hold your hand still, it'll snap to a straight line. So if you do several lines, you can then use a lasso tool to copy and paste. and copy and paste again to have some lines in there. Those aren't very straight, but you can make it straighter. You can also bring in photos or anything that makes sense to you for your timeline. We have our diagrams tab where you could draw some things. And one thing to point out is this little shape tool. If you were to draw a square and then hold still, it'll snap to a square. A snap to a circle that's more of an oval but you can draw whatever shapes you need to to have any diagrams you need or anything you need for your story that makes sense to you we have our places tab and this is something where you might want to actually just list some of the places or you might want to bring in photos from a stock photo site or photos you've taken of a place that's in your story we have our relationships tab where you can write down the relationships between your characters. There's this brainstorm tab, and I made it look like a notepad because that's kind of fun. And if one page isn't enough, you can come up here and you can choose to duplicate it and have multiple pages that look like that. So now there's two of them and do as many as you need. There's this remember tab. I know sometimes when I'm writing, I, there's something I wanna make sure to remember for later, this is where I would write that. If you're someone who enjoys outlining, personally, I'm a pantser, so I don't, I don't outline, but a lot of people do. So there's four ways you can outline. There's this blank page. You can tap on lined, dot grid, or note cards, and then you can create your outline. And of course you can duplicate these pages if you want to. Now, because these are, this is an image, you can't move them around. However, 
If you go back to the blank page, you can use these colorful note cards that are included with your planner purchase. So you would toggle to this screen, use the lasso tool, and you would just come over here and choose to copy, paste, and you can make it whatever size you want. Now you see how this is this blue line is straight, but this is crooked. This is a known issue with good notes. And the way around that is when you come over here and you choose paste, immediately tap on the photo icon, then tap back on this and drag it, and then it will be straight, because that's something that will drive you crazy otherwise. But you can of course do as many as you want. So now that I've gotten this the size I want, I can copy this one and paste, and it'll be exactly the same size. And have as many as you want. And because these are stickers, you can then move them around. So that's handy. Also within GoodNotes itself, there's something called elements. That's what this little icon is. And in elements, these are stickers that come with the program. And you can see what these look like. There's, they kind of, kind of look like sticky notes. So you can always use those as well. So if I stick one of those in there, that's there as well. But I included those colorful note cards to give you something that looks more like a note card. Now we can go into our world building page and you can write down whatever you want to for your world. And you can come over here and you can add a page after, and maybe you want a blank page in there. So then you can just choose blank, apply, close. And now you have a blank page right after the line page. So you can customize it that way. We have our blurb, we have cover ideas. So you can bring in some inspiration for covers if you want, or you can write things down, a place to write down your marketing plan, social media, sales data. And then there's these seven tabs and these are places where you can do whatever you want. And those correspond to on the dashboard to these seven fields. And so this is where you could write down what it's going to be on that page. For example, maybe you interviewed somebody about something. You could write down interview. And then if you tap on that, it'll bring up the screen where you can then put the interview. So there's seven customizable fields. One other thing is if you go to this home button, like I said, it shows you the cover, but maybe you don't like that cover and you like one of these better. I know a lot of people like this rainbow one. You can choose this little toggle. You can use your lasso tool. You can copy this, come over here, choose to paste it. Make sure to tap on the photo icon, then tap on this so that it won't be crooked. Hopefully good notes fixes that soon. And then you have a different cover. So there's a number of covers to choose from. Hopefully one of them will strike your fancy. You can also crop this. So maybe I'm gonna bring it in a little bit on both sides. There, now you can see the, the spiral on there. If you have any questions, please leave those, please leave them in the comments and I will answer them. But perhaps this is something that would work for you. If so, please jump on over to my Etsy shop and take a look at it. Thanks for watching.